Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is a composition art journal series, part 31. Whew, I've done a lot of pages in this, this journal. If you wanna see how I prepared this art journal, um, I'll put a link at the end or down below. And um, so I prepared 44 layouts in a cheap composition notebook that you got or buy from the dollar store or Walmart or whatever. And from there, I just open up to a page that looks interesting for the day and I've already got a jumping off point um, <clears throat> I had great intentions of doing a page and a video every week <laughs> I've just not been able to do it this time I have a really good excuse though I started working on this page and then um, my husband thought he had po food poisoning long story short um, he had appendicitis <laughs> so we've been in the hospital and doing all kinds of fun stuff that's not so fun. He's okay. He's recovering. He's pretty much almost back to full strength again. So, um, so that's a good thing. And then just life. I had a women's retreat this weekend that was awesome. We had about 40 women there for a couple nights and we just had a good, good, good time. So I'm back to editing, uh, this page and I, I think, I don't know that I actually found inspiration somewhere else. I just had this thought of doing a grid pattern and then filling in the squares with different patterns. So 99% um, of the time I have to see something to get inspired or, <laughs> or like, oh, what should I do with this? Ooh, I like that. Let's go from there. Um, rarely do I do a copycat page, but I'll usually like borrow an element that I see and go, ooh, yeah, I like that. And then I'll just go from there. Um, but yeah, I thought it'd be cool to do a, a grid pattern. And I have no idea at this point what I'm doing on the other page. So as usual, my primary medium for this art journal is markers, paint markers, acrylic markers, uh, Posca pens, and um, the purple one there is kind of a metallic fine tip, but it's all acrylic based. And you know, in mixed media, we can like look at other things and go, oh, I need to do more collaging or I need to do this. And it's like, where is this expectation that we're putting on ourselves? Like, oh, we had, you know, in order to be legit, we have to do all of these other things that everybody else is doing. I don't know if you've ever like gone through that thought process. And if, if you haven't, then I'm sorry for even giving it a thought because <laughs> you don't have to do anything. This is for fun, friends. We are having fun. We are doing what we enjoy. And if what you enjoy is just paint, then that's enough. That's okay. Um, I did, when I first started doing mixed media, it was not even a year ago. I'm coming up almost kind of, well, just about a year ago is when I started really experimenting and watching videos and trying to imitate and like figuring out what this thing's all about. Um, and I did a lot of collaging and like modeling paste and, and things like that. Um, and I still enjoy that and I think that I will return to that but I'm also a person who's very like thorough I like the sat satisfaction of like completing a project and so this particular art journal um, just suits itself more to doodles and less to like collaging and texture and 3d um, effects so yeah, I don't know what I'll, where I'll go after this, if I'll do this again. I just, I, I am really loving the process. Um, but every once in a while I'm like, I, I wanna start with a blank page. I wanna start fresh, you know, with a white page, which this project was to kind of eliminate the, the blank page syndrome where you're like, I don't know where to start. And so I took about five hours, I think, um, to prepare this journal so that every page had something already on it it's called seeding your page and you certainly don't have to do that but it's definitely can be a great trick if you really struggle with the what blank page syndrome where you're like i don't know what to do i don't know what to start and then that fear of like messing it up or whatever just just get that out of your head because it's only paper it's only paint and the whole point is to let go and express yourself and get stress out so we sh we don't need to stress over our artwork right right okay um as you can see this is just filling pockets of doodles and i love metallic how it just gives it i almost i use it on almost every page so that there's some kind of reflection or 
I don't know, just give some extra dimension to the pages. And then I'm realizing on the side that there's a lot more of this like bright green. And so I, I took uh, a navy blue that was real close to the same blue of the background um, so that I can kind of mix up the, um, the colors of that. Okay, so I grabbed this big life journal that I got for my daughter to do a few years ago. And I think she read through it, but actually didn't like write the answers in and came across this quote, which I've heard before, whether you think you can, or you think you can't, you're right. Henry Ford said that who industrialized the automobile. Um, and I'm not normally like a, a big self-help person. Um, like, I don't, I don't know. I just, when I hear self-help, to me, I think, like, self-centered. <laughs> and so I'm just like, oh, I want to be others-centered. And I want to, um, um, and I know, for me, my, fa like, I can't really help myself. I need God's help for everything. Like, anything good in me comes from me yielding my spirit to him. So, um, yeah, but... My mindset has kind of been uh, developing, changing a little bit in this in the realm of um, improving oneself for not just to live a happier life, but to to be more productive, to be um, um, I don't know if I'm communicating right very well, but um, to not just let life happen to us, but to be more intentional about what I want to look back on when I'm, you know, a hundred years old and facing the end of life, you know, what did I do? Did I, did fear or insecurity keep me from trying things that I wish I could have done? I don't know. So a lot of times I think whether I think the thought consciously or subconsciously, I think, oh, I can't do that. You know, like that's for real grown ups. <laughs> like I'm 47 years old and I'm like, I, those, you know, all that real adulty stuff, that, those are for like other people. I can't do that, you know. So sometimes I fall into that thinking and, and then I'm right because I don't try because I think I can't. And so I'm trying to change my thinking and, um, let myself feel a bit more empowered. So, all right, I'm going to stop you. I can feel a little bit.
thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you come back and join me again. And I hope that you're inspired to go make some art and have fun. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.